Hey, this is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. We've got a project going today as a family uh, to see if we can clean a barn lot with a rock rake. This is something I've never tried. Uh, we have round bales that we feed in the barn lot and we have these hay rings that go around the, uh, the round bales to keep horses from wasting hay. And after we fed a bale, when they pretty much cleaned it up, we'll put a new bale out and move the uh, hay ring to an, around that bale to another location. And, and we fed bales all around the barn lot all winter long and we've ended up with kind of a mess. There's always a little bit of waste where that, that bale ring sits that the horses won't eat. And it could be Johnson grass that they don't like or it could be the, the waste part where the bale sat on the ground in storage that they won't eat. But you end up with a big mat of, of waste hay and we have it all over our barn lot. And we want to see today if a rock rake will, will move that all into a big compost pile. And uh, I've actually had my wife and daughter both want to get some seat time on the tractor today. So they're going to be running the tractor and I'm going to be filming. And since this is a project I've never done anyway, we're all on equal ground on this. We're just going to see what happens. And what we're going to do, first off, we're going to take our rock rake, our landscape rake, and turn it around backwards so we're pushing uh, the uh, debris up into a mulch pile. And the reason we're doing that, if you pull it and you run over it first, first you're going to run over it and kind of mat it down, and then I think you'd ball it up in a big ball, and your rock rake could go right over the top of it. So we're going to try to turn that rock rake around and push it. I have my daughter Reagan on the tractor today first. This is a pretty long, involved process. And, and Reagan is going to do it here for probably about 30 or 40 minutes and get the hang of it. It works so much better than what a hand rake will in a wheelbarrow. And what we're doing, we have a slope here, so we're pushing it downhill toward the compost pile we're forming. Reagan's got to go. We're going to get her opinion on what worked and what didn't with the landscape rake. My daughter Reagan has been running the tractor, and Reagan, what did you find out about trying to get the stuff out of the barn lot? Well, like, so like I started off going really fast and it, like the rock rake would just like, like everything would build up and then the rock rake would like go over it. And then I like went slower and I like slowly like picked up the rock rake and then put it down to rake it and then picked it up and put it back down. And then I would like go really slow because there was like a bumpy area. So I'd go really slow over that to get everything built up. And then the flat area, I would go fast and it would break everything up without losing. Sometimes I like to go fast on a, a project like this because sometimes it seems like momentum uh, will push a pile better. But what Reagan did was she slowly built up kind of a flat pile and then the pile pushed the rest of the pile. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it seemed to work good. The barn lot's looking great. Well now I've got my wife Carmen on a tractor and she's going to try to finish up the project. Takes a little bit of getting used to. First, first few runs around the field or around the barn lot, uh, you're just kind of getting your feet on the ground. But she's developing a technique that moves the, the bulk of the hay and the manure out. We, we, ha we have the barn lot, I say we, uh, actually I have not been on the tractor seat. Carmen and Reagan, my wife and daughter, have cleaned the whole barn lot out and it looks amazing with the uh, landscape rake turned around backwards. And uh, Car Carmen... I thought it was a rock rake. It's the same thing, landscape oh, rake okay. is a rock rake. All right. All right. Um, now, she's going to answer the question before I ask it. <laughs> Tell us. It's hard to get good help anymore. <laughs> Tell us what worked and what didn't in your experience, vast experience cleaning a barn lot with a okay. rock rake or landscape rake. Well, first of all, I 
I really think it's very helpful. We had put some bales on top of where other bales had been just because we were trying to utilize some space. Uh, I think it, it's important to get those old, the what's left over from the past hay bale, get that out of the way before you put another one in place because it stays wet under there and that's the hard stuff to move. Even with the, the rake, it was still hard, but uh, what I would do is I would go a little ways and then when I would see that the rake was starting to come up over the top of everything, then I would stop, raise the rake, go forward, start over again, and I just kept going back and forth like that and uh, that seemed to work well on the dry stuff. Oh my gosh, it just worked like a dream on manure, on dry old hay, everything, it worked really well. There were times where you had to stop and start because it would, our cheap rock rake would come up over the top of it and so you just stop and raise it up and go forward and then you'd start backwards again. One thing I might say, uh, uh, two things, uh, uh, Carmen nailed it, we, I, I bought a really cheap, I, uh, it was laying in the fence row and I, I got it for uh, what I thought was a cheap price. If you had longer tines and a heavier frame, uh, the riding up on the material probably wouldn't be as bad, that's, that's one thing. And, and the second thing, um, I have found out my top link is bent. Uh, one of the uh, eyelets that screws in and out is, is bent a little bit and I can't, if I could shorten my top link a little more where it had a little more angle on it, I think that would solve a lot of that problem. And if, if you're, if you're going to do it, try to, try to angle it up as much as you can so you're pushing kind of up instead of down and I think that would help. But uh, the barn lot looks amazing, it, 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 and yeah. it was a heck of a lot easier than a wheelbarrow and a hand rake. Yeah, I I would kind of like to try not the hay wet, but the manure on the wet side and see what happens with that. I'm not sure, but I don't know if that would be an advantage or a disadvantage. It might not make any difference at all, but this is definitely something that I want to keep using. Uh, the manure is a huge hassle when you're just using a wheelbarrow and a stall fork that's pretty much what we use and we have a nice compost pile now about the size of Rhode Island yes <laughs> hey I survive on web traffic I appreciate you watching my video I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with other horse and tractor enthusiasts and like my Facebook page is there any other call to action I'm forgetting hey if you got comments or questions put them below I'll try to answer them hey thanks for watching what worked with the uh, rock rake landscape rake and what what didn't what do you have any advice to people that want to try this um <laughs> can we start over we can i'll edit this okay okay well hang on let me think about this for a minute i'm trying to Okay.